Hello, my name is Jeff Beaudry. I'm an associate professor here at the University of Southern Maine. One of your colleagues, uh, I'm in the Educational Leadership Program, which is now housed in the yet-to-be-named Purple College. I teach research methods and classroom assessment. And the courses I teach are heavily infused with technology, whether they are blended, online, or face-to-face. -face. There are two main points I'd like to make. Uh, as I begin this tenure as a CTEL ambassador. First of all has to do with what Mishra and Kohler call the technological pedagogical content knowledge. The second has to do with what my contribution would be to the USM learning community. As academics, we're familiar with content. What we know is how we identify ourselves quite often, our expertise in our content area. As teachers, Pedagogy is how we teach, how we learn, and how we assess. In the technological aspect, we have a other, another set of questions. How do we select the proper media? How do we then design it if we're going to create our own? And many of us are creating media all the time. And lastly, how do we integrate all of these pieces into a coherent curriculum and a coherent course? As for gadgets, I always say that Things really began to take off for me when I had my first laptop computer in a wireless computing environment, which we have all over the USM campuses now. I also carry digital cameras and voice recording devices so that I can produce media uh, any place, any time. So what can I bring to the USM community in terms of software tools? Over the next year, I'd like to talk about three things. One of them is use of concept maps with the program known as Inspiration. The ultimate goal of that is to improve student comprehension and their writing and their thinking in the big picture. The uh, research is quite uh, consistent in showing that this helps students who are struggling with the executive function of organizing their thinking. Another one has to do with data analysis that uh, uh, is a visual approach to data analysis. The most uh, intriguing to me, though, is the use of Camtasia Studio, which is a multimedia program, which helps to produce an online presence if used in online and uh, blended courses. We hope to incorporate that into the communities of practice over the next year. Well, thank you for listening. I look forward to talking with you sometime this year about things that really matter, quality teaching, our students, and the university community here at the University of Southern Maine. Hi, my name is Dan Stasco, and I teach at Lewis and Auburn College, and so let's go on in and take a look and see where the magic happens. I teach in the National Applied Sciences program here at LAC, and because we are a STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math, we face many of the problems that we see in other STEM fields in that it's very difficult to move some of our content into a digital equivalent. Despite being a tech-rich field, most of the time we spend at the blackboard. And it's difficult to put some of these same equations and symbols into a digital equivalent and get it out to the students. So how can we move beyond the blackboard and create um, a medium in which the students can access it? So a lot of what I've been doing is centered around capturing the little bit of lecture uh, in some fashion and then giving it to the students in a sort of convenient media format like for mobile devices or more likely listening to on their computer and one way to do this is with video um, and so we've been experimenting with some video but probably the easiest way is been using what we call pen casts uh, using smart pens digital pens that are able to record audio and text together and what this does is it creates a, uh, you could think of it as a portable chalkboard that the students can then access the information. And this gives them the ability to play back lecture material at their leisure in, uh, in their classes. And so they can then, this object is stored on some sort of website and it allows them to access it. But that's not the only thing. Uh, also, by giving them these digital objects to use in their 
in their uh, offline, I should say offline, out of class studies is we also can start to track and pay attention to how they are using these and what sort and ways of modifying the teaching to improve our own uh, understanding of how the students are studying and utilizing these digital content. And so you can start to track their work, how often they are accessing a particular set of web pages that have been created using these um, pen casts and the like, and begin to tease out um, methodology behind study skills. So those are just a few of the things that I'm involved with, uh, a couple of the projects that I wanted to talk about. If there is anything that you want to hear more about, there's probably an email address somewhere around here. Contact me. Uh, and I'm happy to talk about things like lecture capture, podcasts, podcasts. These are things that I've been using in my classroom. And maybe I can help out. Or if you have questions or you just want to see what it's like, uh, give me an email. Thank you much.